Well, good morning. Bonjour à tout le monde. Tout d'abord, je veux remercier ACOA et MP Long, député Long, d'avoir organisé cet événement aujourd'hui. We're here to mark a very special occasion. The Government of Canada has awarded $50 million towards the development of our small modular reactor in New Brunswick. <clears throat> this is a huge win for us, for New Brunswickers and for Canada. These funds will enable us to take significant strides in the development of our innovative technology over the next four years. By investing in our small modular reactor, the Government of Canada is supporting New Brunswick's transition to a clean energy, uh, clean energy economy. It's acknowledging that nuclear power, clean nuclear power, is needed as part of the solution. As we all know, Canada has a goal of reaching net zero by 2050. Canada uses huge amounts of energy across all sectors of the economy. And two-thirds of that energy today comes from gas, coal, and oil. To get to zero by 2050 gives us less than 30 years to transform the way we travel, the way we heat our homes and offices, and the way we power our industries. This is probably the biggest economic, social, and technological challenge that Canada, and maybe even the world, has ever faced. And it can't be done without disruptive innovation. So that's why we're here today. Small modular reactors paired with renewables and hydro can get us there. So what makes our reactor so special? I'll briefly highlight three things. First, as you heard earlier, our reactor is fueled by recycled nuclear waste. We can recycle the waste from existing nuclear power plants and use it to create more clean energy. By doing this, we can reduce the amount of nuclear waste that needs to be kept in long-term storage. Secondly, our reactor is designed to complement intermittent renewable sources. That's to say, we can store the energy we produce and use it to create clean electricity when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing. Thirdly, clean electricity isn't the only tool Canada needs to get to net zero by 2050. To decarbonize all sectors, hydrogen can be used for industrial heat, transportation, and many other off-grid applications. By using our small modular reactor, we can create green hydrogen that will clean up these harder to reach sectors as well. But beyond the long-term benefits of clean, affordable energy that our reactor will bring to New Brunswick, it's important to acknowledge the significant impact this will have on the local economy in the years to come. The nuclear supply chain is already well established with MB Power's existing nuclear operations here. And small modular reactors are going to create even more high-value, long-term jobs and prosperity. A recent study showed that small modular reactors will contribute over $2 billion to the Canadian GDP and result in nearly $200 million in national government revenues over the next 15 years. This is not just an opportunity for, to, for New Brunswick to provide clean energy for the rest of Canada, but a chance to become a global leader in this next wave of clean energy. So SMRs are not just good for climate, they're good for business too. Multics is committed to putting New Brunswick first. Whenever possible, we want jobs and opportunities to remain here at home. So if your children are wondering what to study, what about physics, chemistry, engineering? These are the type of jobs and the people we're going to need in the years to come. We're working diligently with our First Nation partners, North Shore Micmac District Council, business groups, chambers of commerce, local governments, and other stakeholders to create jobs that last and build up capabilities wherever there are gaps. And we look forward to working with other First Nation communities too. So this is a chance for us to give back to a province that took a chance on us. In 2018, MB Power looked for small modular reactor companies to partner with in New Brunswick. They looked at over 90 technologies and they selected us as well as our clean energy. So before Canada saw the potential, New Brunswick took the lead and we're forever grateful. Building a nuclear reactor is no small feat. 
It requires millions of dollars and many years to develop. And it won't happen unless you have the right people working around the table and the right financing mechanisms. At Multex, we have both. We have a brilliant team of scientists, engineers, and office professionals. And so I must take this opportunity to thank my team. Some of you are here in the room. Some of you uh, are working remotely. Your hard work has paid off. Well done. And we have the finances in place, the second part. Thanks to private investors, the government of New Brunswick, and now the government of Canada, all of whom recognize the potential of our innovations to deliver clean energy and improve our quality of life. It's humbling and it's motivating. I wake up every day excited about what we're doing. We're working on technology that can literally solve climate change. So I want to finish off by saying a few thank yous. Thank you to MB Power in the province of New Brunswick for your initiative, leadership, and being such great partners to work with over the last couple of years. Thank you to Mayor Darling for welcoming us to St. John with open arms. Premier Higgs, Minister Holland, and, and your government, thank you for your unwavering support over the past two years. MP Long, thank you for your support locally. And of course, Minister LeBlanc for your commitment to making sure this happened for New Brunswick. And we're very grateful you could make it down here this morning. And we're, of course, all very grateful we could be here safely in person today. It's a great achievement. And enfin, merci au gouvernement de Canada, Ministre Champagne and Ministre Joly, uh, pour nous donner cette opportunité. We're eternally grateful, and we won't let you down. Thank you.